Hello everyone. Today's video is a very particular one because it is such a thing that I always avoid and I don't like to talk about in my channel. Uh, but uh, visiting Cyprus, which is part of my journey to visit every country on the head, what I see here and experience here, I cannot be able to close my eye and to be able to run away. I try to close my eyes, I try to run away like Jonah in the Bible, but no, I cannot be able to escape because the thing is too much. And if you have been following me for so long, you know that my channel is not for this, but I cannot run away without sharing the true reality of what is happening right here in Cyprus. Because I try to make the best out of the journey I try to interview people, make my video as usual, but I cannot because if I do, I am lying to you. And my channel is not about that. My channel is about true reality of what is happening in any place. In order to help you to integrate and to make your joining your holidays enjoyable and easily to integrate in any country and any city, that is my goal. My goal is not to lie to you, it's to give you the full and true reality, the truth. So, I have nothing to do than to share you what is happening right now. So, come with me. Let us go to the streets and interview as many foreigners we can find and let them share with us their experience and what they have gone through. Be you tourists and also asylum seekers, refugees here, all let them share with us what they are going through in this country. Stay tuned and come with me. I run into a brother. So you want to share with us how is life here as an African that is visiting as a tourist and also life in general? What did you really feel in this place? Definitely. Yeah. This place out here, brother, I'm telling you, there is beautiful architecture in this country, yeah? Okay. There is beautiful history as well in this country, yeah? Yeah. But there is also a human right violation in this country, especially for black people. And if you're a black person in this country, you feel like you're subhuman and you get treated as you're subhuman. Same for, you know, this Greek part and same for the part, you know, which is Turkish speaker people, I mean, the Turkish speaking part, you know, as well, you know, yeah. the black people over there, they don't get no wage, they're not paid, you know, the right salary, and that's the one point. And the second point, in the Greek part, which is part of the European Union as well, black people get paid for less than 10 euros per hour for their work and for their labor in this country, yeah? This is one thing. And the other thing is, as well, they feel like all the black people, you know, are kind of, you know, migrant and, you know, they came to take maybe their money, they came to take maybe their chance and opportunities in here. So for that main reason, they don't want to give opportunity to black people in here. And therefore, they kind of see us black people as subhuman and they kind of treat us like as a threat, subhuman. like they, uh, they kind of afraid of us. For real. And I just have one story to share yesterday. I just went to a black sister who went denied to get into the bus because of her color. Where? Meanwhile, yeah, out here. Meanwhile, you know, she got upset, she got mad, and you know, she started shouting. And because of that, the driver called the police on her. And when the police came, all the black people were staring, and there were other white people by the side that were staring as well. When the police came, they didn't even try to know what, what was really going on. They came and they stopped being violent towards black people. They were pushing people brutally and they had their weapon as well, you know, basically that they wanted to use, you know. So all the black people had to back up. And then, you know, I was really upset and I came and I asked the police guy, why are yeah. you doing this? Why are you being violent to my people? Meanwhile, there's other white people out here and you guys are not being vi violent towards them, but you guys are only being violent towards black people. And this is one of the injustice that I saw. And there's plenty of them that I could explain, but that's another story. But to come to the point, I just wanted to say, this country is really racist. 
and they don't consider black people and they consider black people as subhuman they don't give any opportunity they don't give any jobs they don't give any means to black people to afflict themselves from point a to reach a point b so that's the thing that you have to tell to people as well if they want to come to visit it's nice there's beautiful architecture out here as i said but the life in here for a black person we have to talk about that there is human right violation in here in this country every single day and i'm saying that you know thank you brother for sharing this wonderful experience yes. you know my channel no i am not for this i only love to share the good part of life sure. because i am tired of hatred i prefer love sure sure now let me share my story yeah. i came down from Paphos. all right as soon as i came down from Paphos, i went to the city center just a quick view of the city all right. so i was hungry i said okay let me get something to eat sure a kebab shop they call it donna kebab in Paphos. it's just near the beside the big commercial center i think there in Paphos there along the line if you want to come to take the boss to, to come to Nicosia, it is along that way. Okay. I went to, to the kebab and I said, hello. The way the guy received me, the body language is very bad to start with. Yes. Said, what is this? Okay. I said, okay, as long as you give me, I go, I'm just hungry. I just want to buy my food. Let me go away. All right. After he asked me, do I have uh, the COVID vaccine? I said, yes. I give it to him. Finish. How much is telling me the price? I give him money. The body language is very close. There is just dirtiness all over his body. Dirty is like black all over his body. It's okay. covered with dirtiness, wickedness. Sure. But I'm, I look at him and say, what this guy, what the fuck is all this? Okay, give me my food, let me go away. All right. I don't give that, I don't give it them. Okay. Sure. Then along the way he's going, there is one girl walking with him. The way they are behaving is like kind of so strange. Mm. I look at it again. Number three, number four. I say, okay, let me just look at it and just go away. Sure. Very fucking, man. Sure, sure. Let me talk, just do it and let just go away. Okay. Sure. I said, important, I am not for all this. Give me my food. I've paid already. If I've not paid, I would, I would just walk away. Sure. Okay. I wait then. The guy, before you know, the girl bring the food. Is the girl. The way she gave me the food was out of the world, man. Oh, wow. I look at it. Oh, wow. I was, I just look at, I, I ignore it like nothing happened. Sure. I take number five. Number five, I take number five or number six. Okay. Along the line, the guy was kind of strange in the kitchen. Then I, then I, I, my mind, I, I have to confront this guy. Sure. I said, hello, man. Is anything wrong? Yeah. I think I'm a client. I just come to buy. I don't know you. Sure. For life, and maybe I've never seen you, and I will never even maybe after living here, I will never see you. Maybe for the rest of our life, maybe we don't know. Yeah. Or maybe I might not even come back to Cyprus anymore. Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, because it's <laughs> so. Is anything wrong? That the way you talk to me, I don't like the way you talk to me, man. Sure. Hey, say that is the way you talk, with aggressive. Wow. I said, man, I am your client. I don't know you. You don't know me. Respect me, man. Sure, 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 sure. Who are you? Respect me, man. Sure, sure, sure. Is there any problem? No, that is the way I talk. I said, whoa. I said, thank you. All right. Then, all right. I stay. Then I see his body movement again. I said, okay, then I need to show to this guy with my full force to let him know that I don't appreciate it. So that next time if he's doing it with any black man, he will think about me. Yeah. So and then I tell him that, man, the way you talk to me, I am not your brother, neither your friend, neither anybody. Yeah. I'm not your colleague. Sure, sure, sure. I came here to buy something. I am your client. Respect yeah. me, man. Yeah, right, right, right. He said, that is the way I said, fuck you, man. Yeah, right, right. I said, fuck you, down slow, fuck you, man. He said, he, I said, fuck you. And then there is, there is another, I think maybe like a Cyprus man, I don't know. A white guy was there. So that is why when I say I, I cannot talk because my, it is not my, 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 I don't like those kind of things. Yeah. And I don't share these kind of things in my channel. So people will see it, they will see the, ah, before Joel come into this kind of case, sure. it is 
Sure. It's a big thing, man. Sure, 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 sure. I have received a lot before I started talking this kind of fucking shit in this place, man. Yeah, I'll get you on that. So at the end of the day, the guy is kind of talking. I said, uh, I, then he's kind of very aggressive. Sure. So, okay, I told there is one guy there. The guy said, I don't know, maybe he's a foreigner, he's a white guy there. The yeah. guy said, I, I am right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy said, I am right. Sure. Because this is rubbish, man. Sure, sure, sure. At the end of the day, I finished eating my food, and as I'm going, it was in my front. And I tell him that, man, you don't talk to people like that. He's still aggressive. He said, eh, that is the way he talk. I said, man, you are a bastard. Yeah, right, right. You are a fucking bastard. You know what? You are a fucking bastard. Right. I look straight at I tell you, you are a fucking bastard. You don't treat people like that. Right? right? right. You don't treat black people. Or I, don't, I don't want even, even to give him that, that chance to let him know that he's white. You are, who make you superior? Right, 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 right. Who make you superior? Right, right. The Lord created you, created you as you're in your own act. He created me the same. Yeah, right, 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 right. So I don't want to give him any, any chance of any, any superiority. Because you are nobody, you are created like me. Yeah, right. I am not better than you. Yeah, right. I am not in competition with you. Right. The only competition I am with is for me to be a much better person than who I am today, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got no fucking competition with anybody. Definitely, definitely. So if you have any problem, brainwash or whatever that is troubling your heart, go and sort it out by yourself. Definitely. And you will realize that you have been blind for so long. Definitely, definitely. You have been sleeping for so long. It, it was like people are all around. It was so hot, man. Yeah, right. I cannot even finish the food. Yeah, right. So at the end of the day, I just left. I don't want to say it. Yeah, right. I came in, I interviewed a lot of black people, yeah. Africans, yeah. even other foreigners. Yeah. They are complaining of all these things. Yeah. I don't want to share. Until I run into this man, this man said, no, I must share this thing. He wants yeah, to share this thing. Let the world know what's really going on in here. You know? For me, I am not for this man. I am not for this. I am really, really disappointed that at this part of the world they are still behaving this way. Definitely. You know? Definitely. So the only thing I will say, my only message is that if be you an African, if you're an African, listen to this. It is your choice. If you want to come to this place, it is your choice. But I tell you, from my honest advice, until they change the way they do things. Please look for other places, other countries. Definitely, definitely. This is I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right. I am not, this, my channel is not for this. Yeah, definitely. My channel is not for this, guys. You know me. If you are following me, you know my channel is only upliftment. Now, before, this is my first thing. Um, from the airport, I see strange things, man. Definitely. From the airport. I wish I know. I will cut this place part because uh, but it's part of my journey. Definitely. My life is only peace and love. It's building. I am here to build. I'm not here to destroy. Definitely. But I don't want my people to come and suffer. Because since today, I'm seeing my people suffering. Yeah, since today. See, you know, see, no, two, yeah, yeah, since like yesterday. Morning, yeah, I'm seeing my people suffering. I cannot, I, I cannot close my eyes. I cannot close my eyes and I close my mouth. Yeah. Until I met him, until he said that no, please, he have to share, he have to share it. Definitely. I don't want to talk because I am for everybody. Definitely. My game is for everybody. For it's to uplift, uplift one another. Yeah, right. But this is his, you see, he has shared it all. And this is my own experience. How many days I'm here? Only two days. It's not even up to two days. Yeah, I've seen a lot. Yeah, you've seen a lot in two days. Two days. I'm even asking Definitely. them, how are they managed to live here? Definitely. I'm, I cannot imagine myself to live here. Yeah. Even, I cannot imagine, I'm neither. sorry. Me neither. It, I'm sorry. I cannot even imagine myself to come back here for holiday because the thing is too much. For real. I have met a lot of some Cyprus people that are nice. Yeah. Very nice. Definitely. There is always good people everywhere. There is always good people but everywhere. The majority of people out here, they're bad. They don't like black people. So the majority is it's too bad. So my people, please, we say we're planning to come over here. Please be careful. Be careful. Be careful. It is your own. I have passed the message. I just want to, I have been suffering since I came in. Since one day ago, I see this thing. I arrived in the country, less than six hours in the country, I see it direct. I want, this is face to face. I want to, I want to call the guy off. The, the old restaurant, people is full. In Paphos, I, I have that experience. In Dona Kebab, Paphos. 
So in Dona Kebab Pafos, I have this experience. So guys, if you are coming, be you a student, whatever, please look for other better places to go and study. Don't come to this part of the world. Definitely. I don't know. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. But I, I, because I cannot deceive you. I cannot deceive you. Be you a foreigner of any kind. I think even a foreigner of any kind. Definitely. Even a foreigner of any kind. I was in my hostel. I was with a Greek guy. He's a Greek boy. The guy is selling the same thing. This is a white man saying the same thing. Even him himself is having some short problem. Definitely. So it's like they don't like foreigners. 100 percent It's don't. not only about against black people. They don't like foreigners. This is a Greek guy also. But now my people, I'm telling to my people, please, if you can go to other places, go to other places. I will not even come here for holidays. This is my last, this is my last time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So thank you, brother, for sharing. Thank you, man. And above everything we have been saying, he has a proof to let you know that what he's saying is not just saying anything. Look at what is, what is here. It's you. It's you. You've been violent to me. You've been violent. You see that? And I'm a lawyer, actually. I told him yesterday. You see, this and is an international lawyer for that matter, that is in this case. This is an international lawyer for that matter. So, I, I, you know, I, as I've said earlier, this is the first time um, this kind of thing is happening. I have taken a lot. It's just like, it's God said that, no, Joel, you cannot go away from this place without saying this. That is why he stopped me. As soon as he saw me doing my thing, he came to me that young man, Joel, you must say this thing. Definitely. Because this is not my goal. I want to build, I don't want to destroy. So please, my people, I am I am odd since few I came down since two days ago. I am odd. It's a, it seems that I just want to go back. I wish I know that this is like I never come to this place. For real. I'm I can never talk. come to this this kind of place. I'm we telling you. Tell the truth. Yeah, we have I, to tell the truth. I, people, I don't yeah. want to say it. I'm Definitely. trying to. I don't even know. I, from now, no. We need to know what's really going Listen on. to me. You will not see any video from me from Cyprus anymore. The ones I've did, okay, I can try to be able to upload it and put them. But I'm disappointed because human right, human right. I don't want to say. I've been. I've been like. I've seen a lot. Racism, discrimination, human rights violation, being treated as subhuman, less than a human, no respect for black people. We have to know the truth and we have to tell the truth to our people. This is not a land that we have to come in here because there is nothing for black people except for pain, sorrows and sufferings in here. For real. Well, I don't know. You have to judge for yourself. I, when I'm making videos, creating contents, I'm even trying to tell them, please, always say something positive. But <laughs> it seems like I cannot go away without saying the truth. So finally, he met me. He said, no, we must say the truth. Real. I'm telling you. Or, or if you can analyze the videos of Cyprus, how to live in Cyprus. If you, had the, if you analyze the video of the Cyprus, very the way the people say, that are talking, especially the black people, you will know that, yes, there is something on that. So I know. I don't want, I don't really want, but now, but since I am tired, it seems like I just, I just want to run away. I just want to run away from this place. I'm telling you, I just want to run away. Definitely. I just want to run away. Since two days, as I came down, less than six hours, I saw it. I was like, oh, wow, wow. I've never seen, I've been around Europe. I've never seen this kind of behavior. I've never seen this kind of color. I've never seen it. I'm only hearing it from my people that, oh, some people, they are like this, this, are like this. I only hear this. I've never faced it live, direct. I, I almost hit the guy off. It was so hot. The people, everybody come there, they started looking at I almost finished the guy. I said, fuck you, man. Now, look at this. Look at it. What, what is all this for? What is all this for? Well, at the end of the day, who will I blame? Our nations, Africa. Our leaders that, that I don't know that I don't know what you people are doing. You have said it all. This is now no there is no this now no story. This is an international lawyer for that matter. 
I tried to I, I tried to digest it, but I cannot digest it. I was trying to walk. I want to still sh share the best part, where people can also come and all, for holidays and whatever and go away. Yeah. I said, okay, since I'm here, I cannot even make videos the way I'm making videos. Yeah, right. The way I'm connecting with the people, I cannot connect with them. It's like, right. like negative. Everything I see negative. There's no very story. rare. I see some people that though they are good Cyprus people, but majority is very bad. Definitely. What is that? I'm sorry for that, but this is not my content. But we say the truth because my content, a part of it is self-esteem, respect for one another, peace and love for all. So this is it. Thank you, man, for sharing. I hope the message will pass to our people Definitely. and people in charge to, for uh, maybe for even the Cyprus people, sure. for them to know that what they are doing is too much now. Sure, sure, sure. Though my people, for me, I influence, uh, suggest, make people to travel around. Mm -hmm. People have been coming from all over the world to go and study because of me and whatever. Uh, living, coming from, uh, uh, there is a guy is coming from Jordan, is going to study in, in Poland, and other people from Africa are coming to study here in Europe because of my, my videos. But that is, that is my goal. My goal is to build, not to destroy. But we still have to say the truth so that people might change. Definitely. So change your way of doing things. We are, we are not in the 16th centuries or in the 15th centuries. Definitely. We are no longer backward. We have to treat people with respect. So no Af my African brothers don't come to this place. For me personally, I cannot advise anyone to come here. So I'm very sorry with what I'm seeing every day in the street here. It is disgusting. So please don't come here. Stay, if you want to go, go to other European countries. I'm very sorry for that, but this is what I will say. Don't come here. This is what we'll be experiencing all here on a daily basis. And we, the people that don't even live here, we can see this. So how can we even imagine for the people that live here, for the brothers that live here, for the I, African I'm, that live here? So there is a lot of disrespect every day, every day. So we need to make some change in our behaviors. We are all human, we are all one, we all shed the red blood, we all have the same skeleton. The skin doesn't mean nothing. nothing. We are all human. We are one. And we were all created the same way. We all came the same way. And because of that, we have to respect each other. But nobody respects black people, especially in this country. Wow. For real. You have been here. You have been studying them. I have been here only two days. Two days, they have already baptized me a lot with disrespect. They have baptized me a lot with disrespect. Until I, I, I almost rip the, 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 uh, the head out of one. I'm telling you, this, this time I'm telling you, I wanted to even to video it. I said, no, I don't come for this. For real, I'll get you. I don't come for this. I want to, the thing was odd. I want, my mind told me, Joel, video this thing. I said, but I don't come for this. I don't come for this. But what? yeah, everywhere you're traveling, yeah, this is one of them things that I could say. Mm. You have to talk about how is life for black people living over there. Because it's very important, you know, to mm. know how is life, you know, for black people. Because mm. we the black people, we travel all around the world. We are everywhere. And we are not treated the same way in different places. And there is a lot of human violation. We kind of left our countries to come for countries and seek for human right respect because we did not have the chance that we had in our countries and we came to look for those chance but those chance out here is only sorrows it's only pain it's only suffering it's only daily basic disrespect so this is the truth that we have to tell to our people for real that's all I have to say. I'm very down, man. I, I have said earlier on, I, I program a live walking tour in the city. Okay, I will do that just to say, um, I've already programmed and I've announced it, announced it. I was trying to cover my highs of everything I'm seeing here. 
but the Lord don't want me to cover my eyes. No, that is why don't. I bring this guy. You don't need to do that. I don't need. I, it's like interview more brothers. Interview more. I'm black going. People, I'm going to you know, interview. I'm, I'm going to interview more ask now. About what is life living out here? You know, we have to share the truth in this 21st century to our people that don't know what's really going on out here and that only have dreams about what is life in here. But once they come and they land in these lands. Well, they are only being disrespected, and this is not fair to us. This is not fair to African. You have heard them all. You have heard it all, like <laughs> for real. Thank you, brother. Yeah, thank, thank you, man. You. Hello, brother. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. Great. What can you share of your experience as an African in this place? Oops, my experience as an African in this place has been really tough. Because the, f the first time I came out here, mm. things were really difficult and it was my first time ex expressing something like racism. When I was in my country, I never knew what, that, what, what it even meant, but when someone said racist, mm. I never really understand the word. Okay. But when I came out here, I meant things, things were very different. Like, they just make us feel unwanted, mm. but I would say some of them are nice. So like, yes. if you miss the nice ones, you'll be very happy like, to meet them. Why some of them are just like, oh, here is not your country, go back, we don't need you here. Some of them... Direct, even, verbally direct. Yeah, some of them even go to the extent to tell you that if, you, if your country is good, you don't have to be here. Go back to your country. Okay. We don't need you here. There is no much room for you here in Cyprus. But the nice ones, they are very polite. When they see you, they make you feel welcome. Like, you know... Racism is everywhere, but I will say here it's much, it's, it's a big difference from the things we experience out there because in other countries, like countries like in the United States, mm. if you like someone say any racist some, uh, thing to you, mm. you can call the court, report them to the authorities, and they will like do something about it. But here, even if you report it, you're just wasting your time. So the best thing is just like learn how to live with it. So that's what we've been doing for years, you just learn how to live with it everything that's going on. Everyone knows what's going on, so we just have to live with it. You learn to, like, we see those th we see those things every day, every single day, we see them, so we say, oh, we're used to this, we just have to live with it, because we, ha we don't have the mindset of staying here. That's the most important thing, like, if you know you're going to stay here, you just have to learn to live with it. Because no one is going to raise a voice for you. Even if something happens to you and you go to court and you call the cops, mm. the most part, the, you don't understand the language, so it's going to be so messed up. Hello, man. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. And you? Good, good, good. Where are you from? I'm from Bangladesh. Oh, Bangladesh. My Bangladesh people. Shout out to my Bangladesh people. One day you will see me. Yeah. I have a question for you. Yes. How is life in Cyprus? Cyprus no, don't have any life for foreigner because it's, uh, this country is not good for foreigner. Too much problem, everything, no work, no anything. Yeah. Too much problem, no good for foreigner, no life, <laughs> no work. Yeah. Okay, thank you, brother. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Now this is the kebab, this is the kebab I was telling you about. So never ever come to this place if you are an, an African. This is the kebab I'm telling you about, Donut Kebab. There is a small Sontoa shop here. So this is the place I'm telling you about, very racist and don't come here. If you don't listen to me, you come and you will learn the lesson in a hard way. So this is what I have for you. And this is part one of what is happening right here in Cyprus. I'm going to upload part two in the coming days. Bye-bye.